Welcome back, folks, Contender for the Faith. And I'm back with a new study series titled Sons and Daughters of God and the Chastening of the Lord. Okay, folks. And again, this is my new study series here. And, and uh, I'm sure I'm going to have at least about four videos, maybe sometime. I mean, I don't have a lot of scriptures uh, in this study here. I do have a number of them. And I want to I want to share some things with you on it and uh, stuff like that. And and but before we can be chasing of the Lord, we have to become sons and daughters. OK, people. And really the study series, I mean, the topic I had it written down, I w was looking at actually after after my last uh, study series, I, I couldn't decide on what, what I wanted to do. And I kept looking over this title I had written down already. I'm going to do a video on about the chasing of the Lord. I didn't really want to do that. Didn't really want to do this study on. I'm be honest with you. I mean, talking about the chasing of the Lord. Uh, I mean, it ain't it, you know, it ain't pleasant. Okay, people, and and I'm gonna show you that in some scriptures tonight how God chasing uh, his, his his people. Okay, folks, and different ones like that. And we'll go back. We'll go all the way back up uh, to the sons of God. Uh, in, in the Old Testament, okay, but uh, we are the sons of God. If you uh, if you if you have repented to the Lord Jesus Christ, okay, people, you saving the Lord Jesus Christ, you feel with His Spirit, you become a part of the household of God, okay, folk. You you are part of the family of God, okay, people, and uh, and if that's the case, uh, God will deal with you, okay, people, as sons and daughters, okay, people, He will deal with you. And things like that, okay, folks. I mean, if you say, folks, uh, God will be active in your life, okay, people. You need the Holy Spirit to see it, okay, folks. That's part of the Spirit. You can see some, you can see, and, and things like that when God is doing certain things in your life and things are happening, you know, stuff like that. Sometimes, and, and, and I'm getting a little ahead of myself because I got this written down. Sometimes things can be going okay in your life, and then all of a sudden, you just things happening everywhere. Okay, and a lot of time that can be God uh, causing those things, allowing those things to happen at a particular time. Okay, people, and for a particular reason. Okay, folks, and you, if you got, if you spirit feel, you 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 have the spirit. Okay, people, you should be able to discern why these things are happening in your life at the moment. Okay, and you need to check it out. Okay, folks, and you should be able to see God allowing these things to happen. And you pass that test, okay, folks? You don't turn your back on God. You don't faint uh, when you're being chasing or you're going through some things in your life and stuff like that. And we as and we as the children of God and sons and daughters of God, we, we really to look at our own lives. In uh, one scripture there, in the same scripture I'm about to read, in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, uh, verse 31, 32, I mean, if you go up, it tell us to examine ourselves, okay, people. We to examine ourselves and things like that, okay, people. And we, you know, we to examine ourselves so uh, God don't have to do it, okay, people. And and to start off, and you know, and, and most of doing this study, people, I be talking about the sons and daughters of God in the in the uh, the chastening of the Lord, okay, folks. Uh, but I, I sons and daughters, and, and I really be, you know, be using the term the most, you know, sons of God. You know, we are the sons of God. And you, you'll see that in a number of scriptures that I read during this study series here, people. But I did want to make a dis distinction and separation. Uh, you know, we, you know, we do have sons and daughters. Okay, people, God look at all of us, but we know we use sons. When we talk about sons of God, we, we you know, we know that women are included in that. Okay, people and stuff like that but anyway <clears throat> to get started let me read first Corinthians chapter 11 verse 31 32 and and it says here it says for if we judge ourselves okay people uh we should not be judged okay you hear that to my by god but when we are judged we are chasing of the lord okay he chasing us okay people he deal with us and i and we and you'll see a number of ways how god do that and stuff like that during the study series here Said that we it said said we are chasing of the Lord. You hear that, folks? That we should not be condemned. 
It is with the world, okay, people? God chasing his people for a reason. You want to heal. You out of line. God going to chase you, okay, people? God will deal with you. You have to be spirit-filled, have some Holy Spirit discernment to see uh, that chastening happening in your life, okay, people? You have to be able to see that, okay, people? And I read that again in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 32 and 31 and 32. Say we are say we judge ourselves. We judge our own self. Uh, we should not be judged, but we should. But but we are. Say but when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, and that we should not uh, be judged. I'm sorry, and that we should not be condemned with the world. Okay, people, because God gonna judge the world. Okay, folks, and we don't want to be condemned with the world. We judge our own selves. Okay, people. And sometimes God chasing us. Okay, people, to let us see. Uh, you know where we at, and if you, it, I'm telling you, folks, if you're saving the Lord Jesus Christ, you spirit filled, you will know it, okay, people, you'll know it. God is gonna be active in your life. You're gonna see things happen for the good, and sometimes you're gonna see things happen that will, uh, you know, put, you know, you're gonna see some chasing and going on things like that. You should be able to recognize that and get right with God, okay, people. And I go to another scripture here, and again, this is my introduction into the study series okay people this is an introduction to the study series uh i'm doing to uh about to do here on sons and daughters of god and the chastening of the lord okay folks and again before you can be chastened by god you have to be you become sons and daughters okay people come part of the household of god for the family of god you get adopted into the family okay people and I go to another one here in, in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 5 through 11. Uh, and, and it says him, it said, And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speak up unto you as unto children. You hear that, people? We become children of God now. Uh, we become children of God. Okay, folks? And, and, and I keep going. It said, My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Okay, people, say, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourge of every son whom he receiveth. Okay, people, you hear that? He's talking about us now. Okay, folks, talking about the saints. Okay, talking about the church. Okay, people, he said, but if we be without chastisement, you hear that, people? We're in our, said, we're of all our partakers, then ye are bastards and not sons. That means you're not saved. God's not dealing with you about some things in your life, some, some wicked things that's going on in your life. Uh, you, you're not saved, okay, people? That's pretty much what the scripture is saying. You're not saved. Furthermore, we have fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. You hear that, people? Shall we not rather be sub, uh, in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Okay, he said, for for they verily for a few days chasing us after our, after their own pleasure, but, but he for our profit that we might be partakers of his holiness. Okay, you hear that, people? So when you God dealing with you, it's for a reason, okay, folks. It's for a reason. Some thing I'm telling you, some people. When uh, even though Job Job hadn't did anything wrong, okay, people, but Job God allowed Satan to deal with Job, okay, folks. God allowed those things to happen, and God did, and, and Job did not never in those 42, 43 chapters the uh of the book uh 42 chapters of the book of Job. Never one time did he ever mention the devil, never even mention Satan, okay? Because he knows Satan, he didn't have no power unless God allowed him to have it, okay, people? So God will allow certain things to happen. It might come from people, and I got scriptures to talk about that also. And I go to verse 11, it says, it said, now, it said, it said, now no, it said, now no chasing of the present seem to be joyous. You hear that, people? But grievous. Nevertheless, after with it yielded the peaceful fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised uh, there, uh, thereby. You see that, people? A lot of time that chastening is there to get us back in line, okay, folk, and stuff like that, you know, to get us back in line, to re make us realize. Again, you have to be saved and spirit filled to even discern why, these th why some things can be happening to you in your life and stuff like that, okay, people? Certain things can be happening and stuff like that. You can should be able to discern that. Again, I don't care that God allow certain things to happen to his people, okay? And it happened a number of times to the children of Israel, okay, folks? And, and, you know, that the enemies came up on them and, and, and besieged them and, 
invaded their land and took them captive. God allowed it to happen because they pretty much had turned their backs on him. They have forsaken God to serve other gods and things like that. And God allowed them to be taken into captivity and stuff like that. And, and so again, people, we become sons and daughters of God. But when we go back, we, you know, we're going to go back and look at a few things here in, in, in my, in my, uh, in this study tonight, in this introduction. Uh, we'll look at a few things and we'll go back and look at some things, people, okay? Uh, you, if you want to go back and look at it, uh, uh, there's a number of, we, we see a, we, we see about, about, about four different types of sons of God in the Bible, okay, people? We, we see about four different types of sons of God in the Bible, okay, folks? And, and, uh, we go back and look at, uh, we can go back and look at, um, Job. We go back and look at, uh, Job chapter one, verse six, and Job chapter two, verse one. We'll see that the sons and God, the sons of God were mentioned then. Okay, people, the sons of God were mentioned then when they came together. Okay, so the angels, okay, people, the angels are, are considered sons of God. Okay, people, we see that again in Job chapter one and six and Job chapter two and one. And then we get down, we, we come to Job uh, chapter 38, verse six and seven. Okay, people, uh, we see it again here, and I'm going to read it for you in, this, in, in, in Job chapter 30, verse 6 and 7. Okay, folks, it said, and, and, and again, these, the angels are considered sons of God too, okay, people? And a lot of you guys might know that already, but, I'm, you know, in the study, I'll be talking about some things that's, that's you know, pretty much uh, easy to understand. I'm a simpleton. And, and I pretty much already knew this, but I, I the, the study really about the chastening of the Lord. But again, before we can become, be, before we are, be, before we even, be, be, uh, let me say it, you know, be chased by God, we have to become sons and daughters, okay, people? We part of the kingdom of God, okay? If you're not saving the Lord Jesus Christ, pretty much God will not, you know, he will not be chastening you. And, and, and anything can happen to you, okay, people. But I mean, God said in His Word, though He would that any would perish, okay, people. That means die and go to hell. He would that any He would that any would perish, but that all would come to repentance, okay, people. So it ain't God will for a man to go to hell, and it ain't that He 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 caused those things to happen to you. But anyway, we go back to Job thirty-eight, chapter six and verse six and seven, and we're talking about these sons of God here. And uh, it said, whereupon all the foundations thereof fastened, said, whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened, or who laid the cornerstone uh, thereof? And this is God talking to Job here, asking him a number of questions. It said, and going to verse 7, it said, when the morning stars sang together, okay, and all the sons of God shouted for joy. Okay, people, and you know, they had, a, I mean, pretty much had a good time in heaven. Uh before the fall of Satan and things of that nature there. And I'm sure they still do. Okay. Nothing has changed. Okay. I mean, he, he, he God take one down and put up another one. Okay. People. And, but, uh, they had a good time in heaven with shout and, and joy and things of that nature there. Okay. People. So we see this, we see the sons of God, uh, pretty much from the beginning were the angels. Okay. People in heaven. Okay. folks, they were the angels. And we, we, we look at another one here. Uh, we, we, the, the children of Israel were called sons of God, okay? And the children of God, or the children of Israel, and things of that nature. They're okay, folk. And we, and you, we see that, uh, pretty much in, uh, Exodus. Uh, let me get it right here. I'm sorry. I mean, we see it in Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 12, them being mentioned and called, uh, children of God, the sons of God. Uh, and we see it in Hosea chapter one, verse 10. Okay, people. And we also see it, uh, in Exodus chapter four, uh, verse two, uh, pretty much where I'm going to start to read at this one right here, just to, uh, make my point on it. Okay, people. We see the children of Israel considered, uh, they was considered children of God and sons of God and things of that nature, their sons and daughters. Okay, God did refer to him as that. 
in the scripture did and the scripture did also i mean also p okay uh looking at in exodus chapter 4 again verse 22 and 23 uh and it says here it said and thou shalt say unto pharaoh okay and this god talking to moses he said thou shalt say unto pharaoh thus saith the lord uh israel is my son you hear that people god called him his son to my this people now even my firstborn okay folk is it and i is it and i say unto thee let my son go that he may serve me and if thou refuse to let him go uh behold i will slay thy son you hear that people even thy firstborn okay people again children of israel uh consider sons and daughters also okay people they are considered sons and daughters and, and when we come and, and, and coming on down uh clearly we know that the lord jesus christ okay people he's the son of god too okay for we know that okay people and we we gonna look at it uh well actually let me go back well i come back to that people i had another scripture i wanted i wanted to share and, and i come back to this chastening because we're gonna see how god chasing uh these angels and children of israel and stuff like that but we'll go down to uh we'll go down to uh looking at the lord jesus christ being the son of god and and, and we pretty much seen that we, we we pretty much seen that uh in mark chapter 5 verse 7 and verse 7 you know him being referred to as the son of god okay people i mean you can see it there uh you can see we we, we see it mentioned in romans chapter 1 verse 3 and 4 and again in second corinthians chapter 5 and uh verse 21 okay people and we see it here uh we 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 have it open up for us folks in uh matthew uh chapter uh matthew chapter 16 uh verse 15 and 16 and i want to read that for you again okay people and, and what i'm doing people i'm just clear i'm just showing you in the bible where a number of people in time past and groups and different ones like that were called sons of God, okay, people, and, and which you know I'm leading, I'm lead, I'm going somewhere with that, okay, people. And I go to uh, Matthew chapter sixteen, verse fifteen and sixteen, and it says, uh, and this is Jesus uh, going to ask him a question. He said, and he said unto them, but whom say ye that I am, okay? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the Living God, okay. You hear that, people? Right there, we see him being, you know, referred to as the son of God. Okay, people. And even, uh, and, and folks, and I'm sure you know this, even uh, Satan, uh, folks, even Satan uh, is the son of God also. Okay, people. He's, he's considered the son of God. Why? Because he he's an angel. Okay, again, the angels were the sons of God in the Bible. Okay, I mean, they referred to it as the son of God. And some people teach that uh, pretty much Satan and Jesus is brothers and stuff like that. And, you know, and you, you, you come across a lot of uh, a lot of false teaching and, and things like that. No, Satan was a created being. He, I mean, he didn't exist in eternity and things like that in time. Period. God created him and stuff like that. But he is a son of God. And Satan has his own children also, okay, people? He has his own children. Also, I mean, you see a number of places here in the Bible. Uh, you see a number of places in the Bible where people are referred to as the child of Satan or the child of the devil. And and, and I got a few scriptures here to show you in John uh, chapter 8, verse 44. Uh, first John, uh, Matthew chapter 13 and 38 and uh, Acts chapter 13 and 10. First John chapter three and ten. I mean, you see people there uh, being mentioned uh, as um, you know, as children of the devil, child of say, you know, child of the devil, things of that nature. There, okay, people. So you see that. So you see that God really uh, been having sons and daughters uh, throughout the ages. Okay, people. And we look at the Bible now. You know. We look at it now, you know, scripture said that we, you know, now we the sons of God. Okay, people, 
we are the sons of God. And that's pretty much what I'm trying to establish before we even get into these scriptures about the chastening of the Lord. And that's what I'd be doing. I got a, I got some scriptures that be talking about, you know, being sons and daughters of God and becoming sons of God, things like that. We'll be looking at that in the study series before we can even get into the chastening of the Lord. Okay, people. And again, I mean, I, I pretty much, I, you know, talking about the chastening of God, it ain't something that, again, it ain't something because we all, when we get really into it, people, we, we look at ourselves and things like that. We can always do better in our walk with God. And if we don't, uh, God will deal with us. Okay, people. And, and what I do when we start to look at, when we really start to look at the chastening of the Lord, okay, people, when we start to look at how God dealt with the angels and stuff like that, and when we go back and look how God dealt with the angels, when he chasing them, uh, I got a scripture here I want to share with you. Uh, let me go back and look at that. Uh, how God dealt with the angels there. Uh, let's see what one scripture is here. Uh, I got one in uh in Jude chapter uh in Jude chapter one verse six there, and it says, "And the angels will kept not their first estate." Okay, you hear that, people? But left their own habitation. He have reserved in everlasting chains of darkness until the judgment of the great day. Okay, you hear that, people? So these guys uh that fell out of line, that fell, and different ones like that. Uh, God going to deal with them, okay, people? Again, God deal with his sons, okay? He deal with sons and daughters, okay, people? He will have, He will <clears throat> take care of that when that time comes. We go to 2 Peter chapter uh, uh, Second Peter chapter 2, uh, verse 4, we see it here. Listen up, people. It says, for if God spared not the angels that sin, you that people cast them down to hell and, de and deliver them in the chains of darkness, to be reserved until judgment. Okay, folks, you hear that? That's what that's that's the kind of chastening chasing that God gives out to the angels. Okay, people, that's how He deal with them and things like that. And if we go to and when we start to look at the children of God, I'm sorry, when we start looking at the children of Israel and how God dealt with them, uh, I got a scripture too. I want to read to you uh, in that, and I think the first one is in. Uh, uh, 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 14. Okay, people, we, we want to look at that. I'm just getting you an idea about the sons of God and the chastening, how God dealt with these, how, how he dealt with his sons and daughters and things like that back then. Okay, uh, looking at sec, uh, 2 Samuel chapter 7, 14, said, said, I will be his father and he shall be my son. You hear that, folks? And if he commit iniquity, I will chasten him. I was chasing him with the rod of men. You hear that, people? Again, sometimes God, you know, certain people acting up in your life and stuff like that, folks. Uh, you might want to look into that and see why God is, uh, why these things are happening and stuff like this. We can blame them on people. Sometimes God, you are enemies in your own family, you know, in different ones like that to kind of, you know, give you a hard time. And you'll be surprised. It may be some things, it's going to be some things in your life that ain't right with God. And God wants you to see that. If you say in spirit field, you'll see it, people, okay? And I and I go back on this one. I read I read this one again. Say, so I, so I will be his father, and he shall be my son. Again, God was not chasing uh anybody, okay, P. Only chasing his sons, okay, people. And say and, 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 and say, and I will be his father, he shall and he shall be my son. If he committed iniquity, I would chasten him with the rod of men. You hear that, people, and and with the stripes of the children. Of men, okay. You hear that, people? You be surprised. You acting up, doing some things. You be you wonder why uh, some things are happening in your life, folk. Uh, God is uh pretty much God is dealing uh, with you on a few things and stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna go back to I'm going to Ezekiel chapter uh, 39 and 23, and, and we talking about and, and I'm talking about this chastisement going on. That, uh, and stuff like that, how God was chasing his people. And we'll see this again when we're talking about the children of Israel. We'll see uh, how God dealt with dealt with them and, and on that matter there. In Ezekiel chapter 39, uh, verse 23, it said, And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity, for there was iniquity, because they trespassed against me. 
Therefore I hid my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemy. So fell they all by the sword. Okay, you see that, people? Uh, again, that's how God dealt with his people. I mean, he pretty much sent them into captivity. Okay, folks. And and he, and and he they pretty much went into captivity a number of time in different places like that. God allowed them to come back until they turned to the Lord and cried to Him, and uh, He brought them back into the land. Okay, folks. So we look at that, and, and and when we come down, when we look at the Lord Jesus Christ, people, when we come down and look at the Lord Jesus Christ, He was a son of God, but He 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 did no sin, folks. Okay. I mean, he, he did no sin. Uh, God had absolutely no reason to chastise him, but he did. He 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 had it also, okay, folks. And you know why he had it? He had it because of us, okay, people. And we can go look at that in Isaiah chapter fifty-three, verse five, six, verse five and six, and verse ten, okay, people. And I read it him. It said, "But he was wounded for our transgression." You hear that, people? For our transgression, okay, he was bruised for our iniquities, okay? The chastisement of our peace. You hear that, people? Was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Okay, folks, you see that? Uh, and I tell you what, yeah, I go to verse 6. It says, All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord have laid on him the iniquity of us all. Okay, you hear that, folks? I mean, the Lord Jesus Christ took chastisement and, with, and and things of that nature because of us. Okay, people? And we will get it all. So he was a son of God. We sons and daughters of God now. And God, and we have scriptures here. And I'll be reading off a number of scriptures in this study series, people, to show you that. And, Je and the Lord Jesus Christ had absolutely no reason to be chastened uh, by the Lord. Okay, people? He had absolutely no reason for that. And, but in return, though, in, in return, uh, God chases him on our behalf because he was that sinner sacrifice for us on the cross. Okay, people, he paid the penalty for our sin. Okay, folks, and uh, and, and you know what? And I go to verse ten here, and it said, "said Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He put he had put him to uh, to grief." Uh, when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. He did that, okay, people? He shall see his seed. You hear bad people talking about her. He shall prolong his day. Talking about her, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. Okay, and talking about our hand, okay, also, okay, people? The pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in our hands, in his hand. Talking about us, okay, folk? And we stay, and we stay uh, steadfast in the Lord. We can see that thing. We can see those things happen. And I got another one here, folks, uh, and Peter talking about uh, that chastisement and things like that, uh, that the Lord Jesus Christ went through. <clears throat> and, we, and, and we'll go and we'll look at it here in first, uh, second Peter uh, verse 21 and 22. Uh, I think this one of mine. Yeah. And we'll see it here. It said for evil here unto. Uh, where you've called because Christ also suffered for us. You hear that people he suffered for us? Why? Because we was in uh we was in sins and trespass and things like that. Suffered for us, leaving us an example. And when I talked about it in my study series, he suffered for us. Now we just suffer for him. Okay. When I talked about that in my putting on images of Christ, I talked about those examples and, and I talked about the scripture read him. And I talked about Christ made an example. He suffered. We see uh Christians of old uh, from two th sorry, two thousand years back, I've uh, been suffering for Christ, and we are to go through that same thing for Christ's sake. Okay, when our time comes, God find and count us worthy to suffer for Christ. We will also. Okay, people, and I and I like to go back on that one. Said for for even here until we uh where ye call to my those people because Christ also suffered for us. You hear that, people, leaving us an example that we should follow His steps. You hear that, people. Who did no sin? Okay, you hear that, folks? And, and he, even though he didn't do no sin, uh, God still bruised him and things like that. And, and Bible said, and it, you know, and it's, I just read what the scripture said, and it, it pleased God to bruise him for us, people. Okay, folks, for us. Okay, and when we become sons and daughters of God, folks, okay, you hear me? When we become sons and daughters of God, 
we will be chastened also and things of that nature there to keep us in line. The Lord Jesus Christ didn't do any sin. Okay, people. And and I go to verse 22. It said, who, said, who did no sin? Am I the Lord Jesus Christ? Neither was God found in his mouth. Okay, people. He uh, he God had no reason to he had he he had, he didn't have the Lord Jesus Christ didn't have any reason of his own to to be uh to be to suffer and things of that nature there. I mean, he did it for us, okay, people. He had to to redeem man and things of that nature there. Uh I'm I got another scripture here. I want to read. Uh we we'll let me find it here. In Matthew chapter 25, verse 30, 31 uh through 33. Uh and it's uh we we're talking about that uh when we when we look at God chastising his people folks when we look at God chastising here I had a scripture there I uh I guess I let's see I didn't mark it up but I'm gonna read it anyway uh excuse me uh in Matthew chapter uh twenty 25 verse 31 to 33 it said and, and this is pretty much talking about god dealing he he's gonna deal with satan people okay his children okay folks and we and, and, and pretty much he called them uh the goats okay and they consider themselves goats anyway the children of the devil they consider themselves goats also said when the son of man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. You hear that, people? And that's what he's gonna do. And he shall, and he shall set. I'm sorry. And he shall set the sheep uh, on the right hand, but the goats on the left hand. Okay. And we'll go, and we'll drop down to verse four to one. Then he shall say unto, and then he. I'm sorry. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, to my the goats, depart from me, ye curse, uh, ye curse it into everlasting fire, prepare for the devil and his angel. Okay, you hear that, people? And, and we'll see how God will, and we, you know, that, that, that give you a view of how God will deal with the children of the devil. Okay, people, take that mark of the beast, you pretty much, you it's in stone. Okay, people, you a child of the devil. Okay, folks, and God will deal with us and things like that. I'm sorry, he would deal with them. Okay, people. And and I got another one here. Uh in in first Peter chapter four verse uh verse four uh and seventeen. I, I if I'm not mistaken, I, I don't I don't know if I I had this one already. Uh, sometime, you know. And 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 I okay folks. I got a few of them here. Sometimes I, you know me, I can get thrown off reading a number of scriptures and stuff like that. And I don't have men to study series people. And pretty much what I wanted to do was open up a few things. Okay, folks, I want to open up a few things about sons and daughters of God, showing you from from time back the uh, the angels in heaven consider the sons of God. Okay, people, the children of Israel would consider the sons and daughters of God. Okay, we 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 see the Lord Jesus Christ being, uh, he was he's the Son of God. Okay, people, and uh, we sons and daughters of God now. Okay, folks, the saints. Okay, people, we the Gentile nation become can become sons and those that that is many that, that receive the Lord Jesus Christ. People, they can become sons and daughters of God. Okay, folks, and and we see now. Okay, people, we see now in this last time. And we at the end, and we at the end, we pretty much at the end of the world, and 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 the fullness of the Gentiles really about to come in. It ain't it ain't here yet, but it, it's almost there. Okay, people, and the saints of God, the church, uh, God would deal with them also as a whole. Okay, people, just a, you know, if you got three quarters of the church, uh, that's not that's not right with God. Uh, you you can understand why. The, the the rapture hadn't happened yet, okay, people, and and, and I go to the, I go back to the scripture I was about to read in First Peter chapter four verse seventeen. It said, "For this for the for the time has come that judgment you hear that people must begin at the house of God, 
And if it first began at us, okay, you hear that people talking about Pete. This is Peter talking, and he's talking to the church. Okay, folks, he said if if it he said, and if it first began at us, what shall the end be of them that obeyed not the gospel of God? Okay, Peter. Okay, folks. And let me tell you something, people. When Peter's talking a lot of time, Peter pretty much was really, even though he 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 dealt with the Gentiles too, but Peter was preaching. He was preaching really toward the the Jews and things like that during his time. Paul was really sent to the Gentile nation, and a number a number of Gentiles got saved under Peter, also. But he pretty much was there for the for the Jews and things like that, the, the lost sheep and uh, stuff like that. And I pretty much believe uh, Peter, my, even though his even though his, his his two gospels, his two epistles come after Paul, there's a possibility that Peter really, there's a possibility that Peter, uh, he, he was, uh, he was martyred before Paul. Okay, folks, that he was martyred before Paul. Okay, uh, and, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, really Paul was older. I'm sorry, really Peter was older than Paul, and things of that nature. There, okay, people, and uh, so Peter pretty much left off the scene before Paul did. Okay, folks. But well, anyway, we'll go back to. I got another one here, uh, and First John here, and pretty much what should have been one. <clears throat> excuse me, should have been one of my first ones. First ones, Pete, uh, folks. Uh, and it says here, uh, it says, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us. <clears throat> and it's talking about us, okay, people? Talking about the saints of God, that we should be called the sons of God. You hear that, folk? Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Okay, people? Believe it or not, we sons and daughters now, okay? In the kingdom, we rightly uh, take our place uh, as sons and daughters in the kingdom of God at this time, okay, folk, and again, and the reason for this is that we're we going to be talking about the chastening of the Lord, and it's pretty much where the study uh, is pretty much going, and, and, and throughout the study in my next video, people, I'll be establishing uh, these sons and daughters, we'll be reading some scriptures again, talking about the sons of God, and, you know, some things of that nature that we'll be looking at that, and we, you know, we'll be we'll 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 go into it before I start reading those scripture about the chastening of the Lord and how God tell us to deal with it. Okay, people, how we to deal how we've been we've been instructed how to deal with that uh, and stuff like that. And, and let me read another one here, people. In First John chapter three and ten, and and and, and, and I'm reading this because it's talking about uh, children of the devil. We're saying this. It's saying this. The children of God are manifest. And the children of the devil. Okay, people, you hear that? Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God. Neither neither he that loveth not, I'm, so, I'm sorry, uh, is not of God. Neither he that loveth not his brother. Okay, folk? And so you can see it right there. You don't love your brother or your brethren. I mean, pretty much, you, you, you don't have no righteousness in you, folk. Okay, you don't, you don't have no righteousness. And I go back over and read it again. And we know to have any type of righteousness is going to come through the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, people. And I go back and read it again. And i tell you what. I go back to uh, verse 9. Uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 9 and 10. It says, Whosoever is born of God doeth not commit sin. You hear that, people? But for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot uh, sin because he's born of God. You hear that, people? And this the children of God are manifest. You hear that, people? And the children of the devil. Okay? Okay. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God. Neither he that loveth, uh, loveth not his brother. Okay, folks? And, and again, we, we see, and I read a scripture to you, that the, the children of the devil are really, uh, we, we see them uh, really uh, classified as goats. Okay, people? They really the goats in the Bible. That God put on his left hand, that the Lord Jesus Christ put on his left hand and sent them away. And if you're not saving the Lord Jesus Christ, people, if you're not saved, you are uh you are a son or a child of the devil. Okay, people. You know why? Because it really the child uh, the, 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 the child has the, the father bloodline. Okay, he has the father, get the bloodline come from the father. Okay, people, and Satan 
uh, sin and iniquity started with him. Okay, people says it in the Bible, iniquity was found in him. Okay, the bloodline of sin was in him. The curse of sin started with Satan. Started with him. Okay, people. And today, because man has fallen, uh, we was born with that bloodline of sin in us also. Okay, people. That's why we have to be born again today. Okay, for we have to be born again through the Lord Jesus Christ. And so we have before you get born, before you get saved, people. I mean, we have the bloodline. Okay, folks. We have the bloodline of Satan up, which is sin, the sin nature. That's Satan's bloodline. Okay, that's why we are easily to be manipulated by the devil. We don't have no power. Okay, people outside of the Holy Spirit. You get saved in the Lord Jesus Christ, people. Again, you become a part of the household of God. You become a part of the family of God. Okay, people, God give you his spirit. Okay, people, uh, the devil, you, I mean, you belong to God after that, just like Job. Job was a part of, Job was the son of God. Okay, people. And God allowed, uh, God allowed Satan to attack him. And he gave him, uh, he gave him some, uh, restrictions, uh, concerning that also. Okay, people. He, he, he told Satan not to take his life. Okay, folks. And things of that nature there. Okay. And I mean, I mean, God allowed those things to happen for, for a reason. But anyway, that, I mean, that's pretty much what I have tonight. Just opening up this study series, uh, the sons and daughters of God and the chastening of the Lord, and, and pretty much just talking about uh, a number of these uh, individuals here we see uh, starting with the, the, the sons of God in, the, in heaven. The angels are considered the sons of God, and I'm sure they are considered the sons of God to this day, okay, people, even the children of Israel, okay, people, they are still sons and daughters of God. And he will bring them back in the land. I talk about that in my last video. They are still sons and daughters. They scattered at this time. God can bring a remnant back in the land and stuff like that. And we see, we see the Lord Jesus Christ today is the son of God. Okay, people, he's a son. He become a son. Okay, people, and in return, we as saints and Christians and followers of Christ, uh, we become sons and daughters of God. Now, are we the sons of God today? Okay, people, and uh, we see that, and we'll see when we become sons and when we become sons and daughters of God, uh, we will endure chastening of the Lord. Okay, people, God will deal with us and things like that to keep us in line. That's how He keep you in line. Okay, people, you, you know these guys, they make these videos about uh, one save, always say. You know why you can be one save and always say uh, by the chastening of the Lord. You hear me, people? That's how you get to, you don't just live, it don't just be smooth all the way through. Okay, folks, we still have that sin nature in us. Okay, people, but you have the Holy Spirit too. If you don't grieve the Holy Spirit, and if you don't quench the Holy Spirit, I guarantee you that Holy Spirit will work in your life. You see a change in your life. Okay, when you get saved and get spirit-filled, people, you think it's about speaking in tongues for some folk, just speaking in tongues, I got it, and I'm changed. No, it's how you live your life. Okay, people, it's what's in your heart now. Okay, is it, is that hunger and thirst for God and righteousness and want to do what's right, even though you might come short a number of times, but you gotta have a hunger and thirst for in your in your life. Okay, and when you when you come up short and keep coming up short and God deal with you, you will see it in your life. And the chastening there, people, is there to keep us in line. And I can't say I haven't been chasing a number of times. Things can be really going good all the time, and then and then at, at some point. Uh, things started to happen in my life. I'm like, this is happening, that's happening. And I'm kind of frustrated, and I get kind of frustrated about it. But you know what, people? I, I ain't no shadow turning in me, okay, folks? I mean, certain things happen in my life. Certain things can be happening, and I can see it happening. That that don't stop me from meeting with the Lord every morning, praying and different things like that, uh, confessing my sins and different things, uh, or making supplication. Uh, have, having Thanksgivings and, and, and stuff like that going on on the inside of me and stuff like that. It's not going to stop anything, okay, folks? I'm going to keep praising the Lord and stuff like that, okay, people? Anyway, I will come back with another study, people. We'll come back with another study talking about the chastening of the Lord. And we and pretty much I started off talking about the sons and the sons of God, okay, people, sons and daughters of God. And we'll be talking about the chastening of the Lord. 
and we can read some scriptures. And like I said, I'm pretty much a simpleton people. Uh, I pretty much I'm gonna give you more Bible. I'm doing doing some talking now, but I'm pretty much gonna give you more Bible than I can than I can sensationalize what I'm saying about the chastening of the Lord and stuff like that. We'll let the Bible we'll let the Bible explain it and, and tell you people and stuff like that. You can get it like that. You can be a child of God. You can be sons and daughters of God. There will be some chastening going on in your life and different things like that. And we'll see why. And, and it's really because the Lord loves us and really trying to keep us keep us there, okay, people? Trying to keep us there. And a lot of times that chastening can, will have you, you know, will, will have you to do what's right. And, and, and you'll be careful how to treat people, how to serve God. You'll be careful how to do certain things and stuff like that, okay, folks? Anyway, uh, God bless you. Uh, we'll be back with another video. Thank you.